I'm gonna put it behind my back and I'm gonna give the command. She's not gonna move until I get the command. Boost! Good girl. This time we're gonna use the ball. Boost! Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? We're about to put some puppies up. I'm about to show you what that looks like. You got everybody? Uh, I think we're missing. So I see one coming. She's got something in her mouth. All right, put these up. If we're missing anybody, we'll come back and grab them. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. I know. Tell me about it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. It's always her. She don't like her. Come on. Come on. They're called thrustles. Come on, mama. Come on. Come on. Come on, mama. You got to come through the doorway. So, this is a dog that does not like the rest. She don't like the doorway. She hates doorways. Last two. Hey, what's going on, y'all? So we're about to do some dog training with um, T'Challa. Now, what we're doing is we're gonna we're gonna see how well this hill is for her. But we're gonna do something that you normally never see dog trainers do. We're gonna, she loves tennis balls, she loves tugs, she loves bite sleeves. We're gonna put this down and see how much we can get. If you look at her now, you can you can just tell. We're gonna see how much we can get her to focus on me with all her favorite toys here on the ground. So that's what we're about to do with Chachala. So if y'all stay tuned, you're gonna see toys and everything on the ground. And what you're gonna see is us doing healing. We're gonna do the healing technique. And the reason why we're gonna do healing is because she's been here going on five days and we wanna see just how much healing she can do. We wanna see how better she's gotten in five days. So when you're like, I'm gonna to go to a dog trainer, how long is it gonna take? This is day number five. Let's see how good she is with her healing on day number five. So 
so that you see all these toys she loves. She loves all these toys, all right? I can put this one down. She loves these toys. So it's not like we're putting toys down that she does not like. We're putting down toys that she likes. She loves all these toys, all right? All these tugs, these bite sleeves. Every time I pick one up, she loves it. She wants it. She's trying to bite this one. She's trying to get the ball. All right, she's crazy about it. She's got a ball in her mouth and she's trying to bite a bite sleeve, okay? And I'm making this up. You're seeing her doing it. She's got a ball and now she's biting a bite sleeve, all right? So I'm not making none of this up. You see that, right? So we're gonna see with all her favorite toys, how distracted can we keep her undistracted in training? Cha cha! Sit. She don't care about the toys anymore. Brian, stand down. Foos! Good girl. Foos! Good girl. Good girl. This is day five. I'm not waving my hand. Fuss. Good girl. Fuss. Fuss. Good girl. Fuss. Good girl. Now again. We're gonna, I'm gonna walk in here with her. We're gonna walk through these toys and see if she, if she pays attention. Fuss! And nope, she doesn't care. Chow. She does not care. So we can walk through toys. She's healing without me having to wave my hand. Good girl. Fuss. Good girl. This is what we wanted to see. We didn't think we would see this for two weeks, but we're seeing it in day five. Fuss. Good girl. Fuss. Good girl. Good girl. A little sloppy on her heel, but she's only four months. Fuss. Fuss. Good girl. So, can we get her back on the toys that we had her on the, on the treats? And let's see. No, you just want treats. All right, so now we're gonna use the toy. We're gonna use the toy to make her food. That's it. Foos. Good girl. So we use her toy to make her food. We make her toy to sit. Chala, come here, sit. Foos. Good girl. Are we get her off her treats? And we can start putting her on her toys um, so that we can we can do both. So we have the tree, and I'm gonna put it behind my back and I'm gonna give the command. She's not gonna move until I get the command. Foos! Good girl. This time we're gonna use the ball. Foos! Good girl. So awesome and freaking five days. We've talked uh, Chala to heal on command without having to use hand signals and she's doing amazing. Foos! Good girl. So again, um, 
You want to you want to start proofing the dog. You want to start making sure that you got their favorite toys or there's people around. You want to make sure that the dog is being distracted while you're trying to do this before you move it into an outside setting. And when you do that, you'll know when you give your dog this command when they are not in a outside setting that they're going to be amazing at uh, listening to you. So you want to proof the dog when you're doing this stuff. This is important. If you don't proof the dog and then you go to an outside setting, then it's going to be horrible when a dog doesn't listen to you. So that's Chyla and she heals without um, without uh, being having to be shown. Chyla, here. Sit. Boost. Boost. Ah, ah. Chyla. Now you don't want to do it. First. Good girl. And that's uh, that's healing with Chala. She's got that down pat two more days and so she's going to be a pro at it. So again, thank you guys for watching Madison Bell. Y'all have a good one.